Good morning, friends and fellow traders. Happy Monday. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 29th, 2019. So my goodness, we have quite a week ahead of us this week, and I think probably a very, very challenging week for even experienced traders with so much data coming out and so much anticipation um, as to what those results might be. So let's talk about this. First off, this morning, looking at the diamonds here, you can see the diamonds finished on Friday in a really nice place. I mean, nice little consolidating move over here toward the trend, held up very, very well by the end of the day on Friday. And this morning, it's looking for just, at least at this moment, we're just trading around flat. The futures are up just just ever so slightly this morning and been kind of bouncing back and forth between positive and negative and just uh, largely flat this morning. They, they may start to pick up as we start getting some of these earnings results out this morning, but we'll have to wait and see. But right now we have a nice little consolidating move and certainly a nice bullish trend. So what's the deal with the apprehensiveness this morning? Well, first off, Asian markets ended up closing modestly lower across the board um, last night. And European markets are mixed and mostly lower this morning. And largely due to all the anticipation of what this deluge of data is actually going to turn out to be. So first off, we have a tremendous amount of earnings today. We have... Uh, we have, um, not just today, this week, a tremendous amount of earnings this week. We have the FOMC announcing um, uh, their rate decision on Wednesday. We have um, trade negotiations uh, resuming with China, and we know that can certainly create some new spin. So there's lots of things for the market to react to and um, kind of a, uh, well, and, and then you add in the economic calendar that's just chock full of market moving reports. We have quite a week ahead of us and a big week to try and sort through a tremendous amount of data. So diamonds right here just kind of flat uh, this morning. But if we, if we take a look here, we're certainly in a bullish trend. We're holding up very bullishly. And if we were to break this little tiny downtrend right here, I need to draw that a little bit cleaner. I'm going to use just a regular line here and draw that down. If we were to break this little downtrend to the upside, um, certainly that would be a tremendously bullish move in the market holding trend and uh, staying up here. If we start seeing some of those sellers coming in, I would only begin to get concerned if we really begin to drop um, below these tails right in here. If we start to fail below these tails right in this area, we could see that little bit of bearishness coming in here into the Dow and maybe drop us down in here to these levels of support um, in the chart. Now, I think we're still in good shape. It would have to be something fairly negative to really drop us out of there very quickly. But you never know, with so much data coming at us, it might be an interesting week um, ahead. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also beautifully trending, holding up in its trend, um, setting new records on Friday. No fear of a sell-off here in uh, the SPY at all. Um, only blue sky above. And if we were to uh, start to pull back, I wouldn't be too concerned until we drop below maybe this area here. Um, then we could run into some trouble um, here in the market. But SPY holding up very, very strongly. No fear here whatsoever. If we take a look at the Qs, the Qs also extremely strong, holding up this trend beautifully. We did a great job of holding this support um, a week ago holding into there so we're showing all kinds of signs of bullishness new record highs on friday and once again i don't think i would be too concerned until i saw a move that broke um, that support right there so keep an eye on that the nasdaq very very strong if we take a look at iwm iwm interesting pattern here where we uh, rallied up sold off hard came right back here on friday and all of those candles kind of lining up across the top so we have a, this morning we're being a little bit indecisive but the good news is 
IWM is trying to uh, get in gear here with the market and trying to break out of this long-term downtrend that it's been in. So hopefully we can show some signs of proof that we can hold in here and then see um, IWM begin to participate with the upside move of the market. Let's watch that closely. Another failure at this resistance is certainly not what we want to see in IWM. So let's keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX um, down here showing us there's relatively no fear in the market. We're down here testing levels very close to dropping um, right to a 12 handle and, and maybe even slipping um, into the 11s. And you can see right here, this downtrend is certainly still in play and well at least this point no signs that anyone is concerned uh, about the overall market um, if you look at the vix now it's entirely possible we could wind around in this wedge and still have no problems here but if we were to drop below if we fall below here i'm beginning to worry about some complacency with all of these things going on in the market and the market not showing any fear whatsoever and that complacency can really create some ugly moves we've seen those in the past when we've been down in this area we get these big explosive moves of fear so hopefully that's not the case um, this time around, but we certainly want to keep an eye on that if fear starts to creep into the market. Once again, I, I want to repeat this. I, I re repeated this many times, but I don't think we're going to have any major damage in the market until we break above that downtrend, hold it as support, and then see that fear continuing to climb. That's when we'll um, really see some trouble in the market. Until that occurs, I think we're in great shape here. So nothing here um, right now in the VIX to be terribly concerned about. Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And if we take a look here, um, T2122 is one of those indicators that just, it just plain works. It, it's very good at telling us when we are reaching um, a bearish reversal area or a bullish reversal area. And you can see where we are right now. And by the way, notice how consistent it is. It's just it's just plain consistent. We get up in this area and we turn around and we go south. We get down in here, we turn around and we go north. And right now where we are, so we're just pushing up here toward that bearish reversal zone. But we still have room here. So we have plenty of room to be able to move on up here in the market but we also have to take note that what it's telling us is we have a, a big open door to the downside as well so keep that in mind no really direction um, indicated here on t2122 and um, perhaps the um, overall momentum of the market can continue to carry us up on its own Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar today is really light. Not much going on here that's going to move the market. As a matter of fact, I would, I would pretty much count this out that there's nothing in here going to move the market today. But we certainly want to pay attention to this week. We are chock full of earnings um, or economic calendar events that could move this market around. So kind of keep that um, in mind as you plan your week forward let's take a look well before we do that i just want to say thank you to everyone um, that watches these videos and takes the time to uh, leave comments and click those thumbs up buttons and if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor and click that subscribe button there on youtube and then click the bell icon when it pops up that um, helps well, it will notify you when I post one of these videos. And please keep in mind, the purpose of these videos is not to predict anything. It's not to tell you or, or provide you with a whole bunch of hype or anything along those lines that this is exactly what's going to happen because the truth of the matter is nobody knows that. All we can do is look at the technicals of the, of the chart and try to think about the things um, um, pending that we um, will have to consider when we're planning our week ahead or our day ahead. So that's the purpose of these videos to help you um, plan that day ahead. So if you find these helpful, click that subscribe button. Also, thank you for all of you who take the time 
to uh, click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. You guys mean the world to me and it, you're really responsible for the growth of this channel. I do my very best to put out good quality content, but um, without those thumbs up, without your um, nice comments, this channel would not grow. So thank you everyone for that. Um, honestly, you are the best. I truly, truly appreciate, appreciate it a ton. By the way, always feel free to share these videos on Facebook or Twitter. If you find them helpful, hey, share, the, share that information, help someone else. So with that, let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up things we want to watch and pay attention to in this market. Let's take a look at Roku. Now Roku had a really nice day on Friday, poking back up here. We got a little bit worried about it right in here where it pushed back down, but there was no follow through to that bearish engulfing and we've returned right back up here. Now, although it's kind of slid outside of its little trend that I have drawn here, it's possible that maybe our trend has just moved to here. So let's watch that closely see if there's any follow through on this to the upside and you can see this morning we're indicated to open about where it closed but let's watch this for that potential move up roku looking pretty strong here looking good and there may be an opportunity we also want to keep in mind that it is go going to report earnings on 8 7 so plan that carefully and by the way on any and all charts you need to make sure and check those earnings reports because they can really bite you hard if you're not prepared uh, for that earnings report to come out. Keep, also keep in mind that any charts that I show here in this video are not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. They're just meant um, as a learning tool, something to look at the patterns, maybe put on your watch list and um, uh, evaluate for your trading. Let's take a look at um, a few other charts that are looking really good. Take a look at CentOS. CentOS here, CTAS gapped up on earnings. Notice no one really wants to sell it here. It's not being sold off and we're looking at this very strong um, upward trend. As long as this continues to consolidate and even tighten up this consolidation, I want to be watching this for a potential if this were to pop on through and to follow through to the upside. So keep an eye on CentOS looking pretty darn good there. Take a look at Momo. Now, Momo had left us this week or left us Friday with a bearish engulfing candle. And this is one of those uh, uh, Chinese stocks that will definitely be affected uh, by the uh, trade negotiations. And that bearish engulfing candle is a little concerning. So we'll have to wait and see. But if it can, if it does not follow through to the downside and continues to hold in this range, this consolidating range is what we want to look for for that next upside move. If it does fail, however, if we get that failure, we want to wait for that rally back to resistance and then that failure. I, I usually don't try to anticipate the entry into a short trade like this or any, even a long trade. I wait for the price pattern to confirm itself and that co confirmation would come right in here if we fail and then get that little um, bear flag to come into play to rally it back before that failure. So watch that close if Momo starts to move around in here. Um, IMMU, if you like biotechs, IMMU, really nice looking chart here on Friday. Nice little, it's been rallying consistently here and a nice little controlled pullback leaving behind a Morningstar pattern here on Friday, showing us that potential that we could rally on out. Now keep in mind, we've got resistance levels above, but still a very, very pretty chart, a nice little pullback opportunity trade. That's what we call these as PBOs and um, gives us a low risk entry into the trade because we can enter that trade, get our stop loss below support here. And even if we're wrong, we have very little risk in this trade with our stop loss there. So keep an eye on that trade. Beautiful opportunity possibly setting up. Um, BSX. Now BSX, I was hoping was going to break on through this upside move. Hasn't done it. So right now, this is just something to watch. Keep an eye on. Um, uh, this has the potential of uh, straight on failing here, but it might be worth keeping an eye on this trade. How about Lulu? Lulu has made this nice move up, breaking this little downtrend here um, three days ago, um, 
three trading days ago and now getting this little resting pullback right here i want to wait and see if this can find buyers right in this area and start pushing that back up we want to keep an eye on that chart pretty decent looking chart though and one i want to be watching how about microsoft microsoft made a great move on friday breaking through looking really good and strong microsoft after a good quality earnings report and then found sellers has come right back and is looking pretty good overall so let's keep a, a, an eye on microsoft this is looking good and um, has definitely has some opportunity in it stz is another one of those that i've been watching pretty closely has quite a little potential in that chart and we'll want to keep an eye on that as that moves um, slightly over here toward its trend let's see if that can build a little energy to uh, move higher how about restoration hardware RH looking very, very good. I talked about this one all last week and it finally popped through and is continuing that move up. Nice little consolidating move after breaking through a substantial level of resistance and looking good in that chart. Might want to keep an eye on that. Apple is another one of those that I want to keep an eye on. Now let's keep uh, we have to note that it reports on the 30th, so it's not a trade for me, but I really like this nice little tight consolidation that we're forming up in here. I can't tell you if this is going to pop out or pop down, but it's definitely worth keeping an eye on um, in that chart and watching it closely. And last but not least, um, take a look at this SMAR. SMAR been trending beautifully, had this nice little pullback opportunity into the trend rallying up breaking through i think there's still uh you know sufficient possibility that this could consolidate a little bit more but let's keep an eye on smar looking pretty darn good here overall as a chart so a few things for you to look at now i just realized that i forgot to go over um, um, earnings reports today and earnings there are a tremendous number of earnings coming out this week we have over 120 today and they're really going to come out fast and furiously this week um, with Thursday having more than 450 companies reporting over 350 companies on Wednesday and nearly 300 on Tuesday. We have a really big week of earnings and a lot of things that can move us around. So make sure you're taking the time to check these earnings dates. <clears throat> know when that company is going to report before you jump into that trade watch it carefully because so many times we get a good entry signal that shows up just prior to that earnings report and then um, if you happen to chase into those jump into those without the knowledge of when those earnings are it can really cost you quite a little bit of money and be very very painful so watch that closely so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day and i want to wish you great profits i also want to suggest that this is probably going to be a very challenging week even for very experienced traders because of the way the volatility could shake out this week don't be surprised if we have a very dull light choppy market up until that fomc and then we could get all kinds of crazy volatility now the thing that could change that of course is all these earnings reports we could see that wild volatility be um, consistent throughout the week and very very challenging trading we should expect big gap up opens or big gap down opens not that it will but we should expect them to be a possibility of occurring with all these earnings reports and all of this data flowing out so consider that risk very carefully as you plan your day and your week forward how you want to approach this it may be that um, you know swing traders position traders uh, maybe kind of left aside um, this week uh, because of the volatility there may not be much edge that a swing trader position trader can have in a market like this this may be a day trading market um, because of the volatility the reactions to the news so just keep that in mind and plan yourself carefully remember you don't have to trade every day in the market to be successful if you don't feel like you have an edge if if you're seeing damage being consistently brought to your account trying to push trades in an uncertain market like this it may be a wise thing to step back and protect yourself because as soon as this is over 
we may have a direction and we can simply trade the market. So keep that in mind. We don't have to be the hero and be the one jumping in in front of a speeding train. All right, everyone take care of yourselves. Have a great week and we'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Have an awesome day.